Hey everyone, blog number three, and we are now at our training camp. Everything's going extremely well. I have to say, horses arrive brilliantly. Uh, Clive and uh, Sandra Boy travelled via the ferry, which was really good. Uh, weather was fantastic, and so both of them have come off quite a long trip. I think Nissa was in for about 12 hours, and Clive was two and a half hours less. So uh, they've both become very well settled and relaxed and have come into the environment really well. We're lucky enough to be at Frencham Manor, uh, which is a lovely facility, very relaxed and a lot of space and it's very pretty and quiet and that I think the horses have responded really well to. So we're very lucky to have that. Um, we met up then with, of course, Rosie and Mary and her two, their two boys and they're both fantastic as well. I have to say I haven't seen all four horses in one spot since Compiègne and the quality of the work that these horses are doing all con collectively is phenomenal. Uh, Mary in particular since then has really come much stronger and she thinks she's doing a fabulous job so I think that's really exciting. She's very happy that Sunset's going so well so that's really nice and Rosie's doing a super job and to watch Rosie train is really interesting because she works a lot on basics and suppleness. And uh, she's a fantastic rider who's done such a phenomenal job with a horse such as Bullwinkle, who, as everyone knows, was an inventor. So I think that is one phenomenal effort on Rosie's behalf. Chrissy's riding really well, and she's happy with the progress of Clive. And then I'm working Sandra Boy, and he's going very well. Yesterday, Patrick arrived, so I could start training a little bit more, and that was great. Uh, still a lot of basics. I'm working on frame and making sure I can have power and maintain the frame and the height and the contact in the rain like we're aiming for. And that went really well. Tonda Ritter also turned up yesterday and is ready to support and watch all over us. And um, he's a great person to have on camp. Uh, we're very lucky, I have to say. Um, this blog is more predominantly going to be about who's behind the scenes and who supports us because I think that often goes unnoticed and I think that's an extremely important part of our team anyway. Uh, so I'll introduce you to everybody that's behind the scenes, show you a few photos of what's going on at the training camp and hopefully you get insight into where we are and what we're doing. But uh, so far so good, we couldn't be happier. We're having a team barbecue tonight, hotel's fantastic, uh, weather's good, my god, English summer. When we landed they said, welcome to English summer, it's finally arrived, it's 19 degrees, which resulted in a laugh from most people on the plane, including myself. But um, actually, they did get some up, and it's 30 degrees, so uh, that's really nice. Uh, we're enjoying that. Um, in the next couple of days, I'll be running back and forth, picking up Patrick, and so I can have training here as well to keep everything as normal and consistent as possible. Uh, so this is going to be how it works. I'm running around, and uh, he's about an hour and 15 from here, and no direct way to get there. If anyone knows English roads, it's like doing a rally. So um, I think my sister would love it. Uh, it's driving me slightly nuts already, and I've only done it for one day because it is an interesting drive, and it's a long, it's quite long, surprisingly, actually. So um, interesting drive, very pretty surroundings here, very English, small little cottages. We've got water right in front of the hotel which I love because I like like being near water, being a Sydney girl. Um, so this is where we're at right now. I'm glad everyone's enjoying the blogs and feeling like they can see a bit of an insight into where we are. I'm currently in my hotel, about to head down and have breakfast and then head off for the day and start working the horses. Uh, so this is where we are. I hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you all next blog where hopefully I can show you a bit of the training and maybe then after that if I'm really lucky, uh, some of the opening ceremony and getting ready and heading in for that. So thanks everyone. See you soon. Bye
as you can see, there's a lot of people behind the scenes that are supporting us. Uh, a lot of them are uh, Equestrian Australia staff like Vicky and Michelle and Narelle and Deb, of course. Now, these girls are instrumental in making our lives a lot easier and I do not believe that they are really fully realised for what they uh, are as hardworking and important components of our team. These girls run around like Fruit Loops helping us and um, working with the eventing team and us at this present moment and uh, are going above and beyond anything anyone could ever do to help the team function as best they can. I appreciate the work for all these girls and I hope that everyone at home can realise just how hard these girls work to make our lives much easier. Um, you know, we see Michelle only now. This is the first time I've met her and she organises all our events and all our entries and runs around like a Fruit Loop helping us trying to get into the entries and to the shows that we really want to do, which can be no small feat in Europe, let me tell you. So um, thanks everyone behind the scenes for helping us. I do appreciate that. And then also you've just seen all our grooms and they're a bunch of lovely girls. Miss Angelica is mine who helped me in Kentucky. Then Nix is Rosie's groom. Um, Aaron's he not here yet, but he's Christy's groom. And then we also have, of course, Carol, who's Mary's groom. A uh, great bunch of girls that work really well together and we're very fortunate to have them too. So that's it for today. See you later. Bye.